Hello everybody, Bryos here. Today we are looking at one of the mechs from the Heroes to the Rescue Phase 1. And this is the 40 ton Inner Sphere mech, the Cicada. And because the event is all about hero mechs, this is the hero mech for the Cicada DX5. Special because it has one missile hard point per side torso. And I actually enjoyed the X5 a lot. I bought this quite some time back, but I really didn't play it because I had other things to do. But this event forced me to take it out and I read a simple but very effective build. And only using one of the missile hard points and the mobility of the cicada to very deadly effect. And let's take a look at MacLab. So I'm running a very simple MRMs plus lasers combination. In this case, an MRM 40 with 3 tons of ammunition and 2 medium lasers for pinpoint damage. Not ERs because it's gonna generate lots of heat. An XL 285 engine with speed 2 gives it a speed of 120.6 pretty decent and with the armor from the arm stripped because there's nothing in it um it it's kind of tanky with its hitboxes able to take quite a lot of damage even though if you look at the cicada's front the ct hitbox is pretty big so gotta use the high torso speed the uh, torso twist speed yeah that's the word to twist the damage away so that's it simple build mrms plus lasers for pinpoint and for skills i'm going for 33 sps in the firepower tree left side for the missile nodes and a few others for heat. So in this particular case, I'm getting additional ammunition, one node of missile rack only for additional missiles because that's his main weapon system. Um, heat is the main problem with this build. So minus 9.75% heat with a cooldown decrease of 5.25 allows the weapon to fire just a bit faster. Other bonuses are incidental like the 7% range and the 6% velocity, which isn't too bad actually. And two nodes of missile spread because MRMs suffer from pretty bad spread. They spread damage all over the enemy. So if possible, always get missile spread nodes, two of them, to decrease the spread of the MRMs by 5%. No survival skills, these are actually really useful. But I've actually gone for sensors in this build. Because of all the missiles, I've gone 16 SPs into this sensor tree. Getting 100% rate of deprivation to break those missile locks. So that helps quite a lot because... When the enemy locks onto you, the cicadas tend to take quite a bit of damage. Anyway, quite a lot. There's just too much collect during this event. And for mobility, 16 SPs for the 3 nodes of speed tweak. And of course, the other bonuses are the 10.5% XL, 14% DCL, and the 24% turn rate for the cicada really helps. Allowing this to be a very fast hit and run, hit and fade kind of mech with the 100% rate of deprivation and the mobility skills. Operations is 20 SPs because I want to keep hitting the enemy. I'm going for 5 nodes of cool run for sustained fire, allowing me to dissipate the heat by 10%. And 5 nodes of heat containment to decrease the, or, or rather increase the heat capacity by 15%. So you gotta have quite a bit of sustain in this build. And when you are overheating, either send a cool shot out, flush it, or run away, redeploy. And talking of cool shots, only one cool shot. That's because I went for. For two notes of the sorry two strikes yeah that's it two strikes with six sps in auxiliary and in case you don't want to have the 100 percent rate of deprivation you can decrease it quite a lot by removing all these notes they'll give you 60 percent from the left side and you can have like six or seven sps to throw elsewhere so that's it a very simple cicada x5 build missiles and lasers very effective suits my predominant play style of hit and run and very tanky if you know how to twist the damage away in the cicada. So anyway, let's get down to some combat and I'll show you that the cicada is a pretty old mech, but it's still really legit and very deadly on the battlefield, especially the hero DX5. So let's go. So here we have the HPG Manifold map and this is actually my first game with this build and I must say I really enjoyed it and it really showcased the hit and run capabilities of this build and of course the good teamwork just amplifies its performance on the battlefield. Thank you. So after checking out the flanks are clear, could engage enemies at Delta 5. They are normally there. Working on Alpha. So harassing their flanks with the MRMs. Yes, lots of friends. Target the uh, back target target spotted. Oops, Delta 6. So as you can see, I'm a bit too extended on the right flank. And yeah, there are a few heavies here. So not advancing, just holding position. Waiting for them to engage and I'll hit their flanks again. The top is still clear, guys. Take the top. Yep, yep. Yeah, everybody hits for the top. But you got to worry about the flanks also. So here am I covering in the right flank of the team. New target 
So dropping an airstrike? Yep, we're still spread out. This is one of the rare times I carry airstrikes instead of strikes. I do prefer RT strikes. So here we have a cadet catapult. Making the classic mistake of just standing still in the rear to learn. Looks like a trial catapult. Some of us are working on Juliet. Easy prey. Alright, I'm on top. Uh, but gotta be careful. Yep. Don't really want to don't really want to draw Join too much. Suit. Don't really want to draw too much aggro. So I hate to pick on beginners, but gotta take out this few mechs here. And of course take it out fast before I start a NASCAR. People always follow the flankers and then they blame us for NASCARs, you know. I don't like that. So poor cadet. Not a good start for him. So apologies to that poor guy. Right arm is caught, but that's fine. I don't really need the right arm. So rushing back to rejoin the team. Yep, Lima, Lima. Delta 4 guys. Targets are called a Remember, five, stay up. Don't drop down. Yep, try to stay Focus up. Focus the big guys first, like Lima. Lima one shot, CT. Yeah, good comm so we know the enemies and their components to target. Call next target. Yvonne Jaguar Kilo left also. Why did all you guys leave? Why did we all were trying to go to the There's always some salty guy. Not true, it's 5-4, so it's not a team role. There's always some salty. There's always some salty bugger. Doesn't realize the situation. Another kill there. One Ebon Jaguar. In trouble, he's caught. Not a good weapons combination to deal with me. He has a friend, but he's badly caught this Vapor Eagle. So easy prey to a Cicada. Now for Kido, CT, and boom. So there's the main force engages at the center. The fast movers Echo like me. And up. Fast movers like me can pick off the mechs at the side. Not everything's about balling up at the top and just staying there. That's always a misconception. Echo five, multiple targets. Roger that. Delta. So picking out my next target. Look at the turn speed of this cicada. Using the arms to shield as I twist my torsos. Enemy main force is here at hotel. Without the lazy duration notes, the burn is a bit long. Watch the strike. Yeah, hoping my airstrike will get these people here. Oh, one hit. That's it. So one, what's this? What is this? It's a target. And it's dead. 40 MRMs. Point blank. Plus 10 points of damage from the lasers. So we are the ones actually rolling them. Yep. Yeah, we are a bit losing on caps, but it's fine. Got lots of time. 2-2, two, two. The they only have a 200 point advantage, at this point it's okay. So it's CERN in his Wolfhound, classic CERN build, EMS Wolfhound. I think only one EMS this time. But I have quite a bit of speed so I should be able to catch him. Yeah, he's running. This is when the lasers are useful, just slowly burning them. Poking a bit of damage at a time. Yep, he's capping it, so time to go in for the kill. So knows he's in trouble, but I am also really badly caught, so it's a pretty fair duel. My caught Cicada versus his fresh wolf found with what, 5-6 medium pulses? Very deadly. Oh, it's ER mediums? So shielding my CT. One thing about the MRMs, these stream of missiles causes you to Expose yourself a bit, well but done, still able to get it. Six kills, cap this and we will win. So a good outing in the Cicada X5, my very first match in this, very impressive. And CERN, the last one standing. Could have gotten me, but well, he didn't. So let's just wait for the win. Anyway, let's fast forward this. So this X5 is really impressive and that was a good team performance even though somebody was salty, poor early assessment by that guy. We rolled them, not they rolled us. So 6 kills, 908 damage, good output, good kills, quality damage also, which guarantees a good max score. 6 to 9. So let's get on to the next match. 
So the previous match was actually a pretty good team performance and a win with the main force setting up the center of HPG as usual and my Cicada with an IV4 with me keeping the right flank covered and harassing the enemy team taking out the stragglers like the cadet in his catapult poor guy I feel bad for him and his friend the Ebon Jaguar and then proceeding to harass the enemy team from the flanks so with the main force hitting their fronts and this MRM X5 at the flanks harassing them the enemy got into real trouble and we just ground them into dust and that's how game should be but right now we have Delta HPG nope it's not HPG this is Rubelite Oasis and we're going to bring the Cicada up to the high ground and rain down missiles on the enemy so with the low range of the MRMs, I think 588 meters on this build and the high ground on this location, you can rain down missiles at the enemy just around there. The other mediums will do better but I have problems with heat management sometimes and I do like the effectiveness of the medium lasers. Echo, Echo, Fafner, bad positioning. So one Fafner charging in, yellowing in. Problem with arm weapons, I can't aim down well so you gotta, aggress gotta be aggressive and engage other targets like this guy. Delta please, right torso. Calling out components. Oh, lots of atlases. Watch it. Lots of atli. Yeah, many atlases. Hotel so first, stay low, get hotel. Going to the low ground to get some cover. Some friendly mechs in front of me to draw aggro. Baiting this atlas. Hotel left also. This Kraken here. Big guys take a lot of damage from MRMs. So always use MRMs on bigger guys first. On smaller guys, it actually is also useful, MRMs, because the, Golf, spread, above. the spread allows you to hit them easier, but you do very little damage because they are smaller. So this is not a frontline brawler, so we're going to hit them from the flanks. Enemy team is mainly on my right side here. So I'm covering my team's left flank. Few targets below. So throwing some lasers and missiles to suppress them as I head back to the main force to Go support. By five line. To support the team along five line. Timber left also, Juliet. It's gone. Three three. It's kind of close. Good shot. As we push through, we'll take fire from the left flank. Let's see how we deal with it. Go for kilo if you can. This guy's gonna draw lots Watch of aggro. Left. Yeah, he's gonna draw lots of aggro. Hopefully, with team wooden NASCAR. So the lack of laser duration on this build, the laser burn time is kind of long. So it's safer actually to burn them and twist quickly, doing less damage but taking less in return. Turn around, turn around. Fox line. We so go low. True enough that guy pulled five, away. Five, move together. Pulled away quite a few of our mechs, at least five. Fox five to fox six low. But we're trying to regroup. Thankfully I have speed, but not sure about the rest. Back with yep. One of the problems is when Slow guys try to follow the flankers. Kid Fox left leg, right torso. And that results in a NASCAR. Big guys should never follow. EBJ legs, bro. Should never follow flankers on legs. So we got them sandwich here like L. L for one shot. Banshee. Calling man out. Banshee has a huge CT, so should be able to kill him. Yeah. Not a good position, taking lots of damage. This cougar blocking me. Foxtrot coming Fox in fast. right torso. Left torso now, Foxtrot. Timber just charging Bravo Lance here. Lots of rear armor, strangely. Two alphas in the rear and he's not dead. Oh, but he's dead now. Charlie. Oh my god, him. Long range kill with Bravo, arms. licks. Bravo, it's, licks. It's always nice. Good work. Turn left. Golf up high. Fox 4. One light coming in. So we are cleaning house here. We have a 3 bank advantage. Well done Wolverine. Let's go up, let's go up, follow me. But enemy has a cap advantage. Caps. There should be a target here. I remember seeing something. There, there it is. Golf. That's a cat Friendly Wolverine, go for him. Brawler build. Two snub nose and an AC20. caps. So I'm called also, so being overly aggressive here. Trying to solo this guy here. Still has a snub nose, and I'm caught CT. One shot will kill me. Calling a bit of help. One Hellbringer comes up. Ooh. Ah. Timing it wrongly there. A bit too aggressive. I should have waited about one or two more seconds. And yeah, that is a problem. So a bit too aggressive in this match, and that causes... Yeah, we really need them caps now. Yeah, causes us to have big problems. So we have a... 
sizable advantage of about 4 max right now. Jaded go to Hotel 5. 4v1 actually, but we need caps. So like I said, very aggressive in this Cicada and that is my problem. I get a bit too complacent. And with the huge CT from the front, it's pretty easy to hit. The lag for me on NA is about, the ping is about 250 to 300. So there's a split second uh, problem for me. So sometimes even though I shield it, like I feel in this match that I felt in this match rather, that I turned my torso fast enough, but the uh, cataphract, yeah, that was the mech, was able to hit me in a CT with the snub nose PPC. Sometimes I attribute that to my pretty bad ping of 250 to 300 on NA servers. He said Tater. But right now, back to the match, uh, looks as though they have it in terms of caps. If we look at the caps, almost 700 points for them. Three so caps to our one. You can get going if already uncapped. Your cougar behind is really badly hurt. Yeah, team is not spreading out. One problem is that people should uncap. They don't have to cap totally. The key thing at this point in this kind of match is to uncap and move on to the next objective. Because even if you cap yours full, or rather you cap yours till it's blue, it wouldn't help the team win. You can always come back and cap it later. So they have two cap versus our three. Our mechs are pretty slow. Almost 720 for them. Ladies and gents, they definitely have this. So I felt that I was a bit too aggressive, like I said a few times. That is my flaw. That's why I vary my gameplay sometimes. When I play assaults, I have to go slow and think things through. So maybe I could have carried this match if I was still alive. But I think I thought it doesn't matter. The enemy team has it. And here's that depressing music. Yeah, there it is. So anyway, good performance in this Cicada. Fourth or fifth time, I'll say I'm way too aggressive. Should have held back just a second or two and that cost me my mech. 50-50 chance I could have carried this, but never mind. 827 damage, 2 kills, uh, okay performance I suppose, but still a team loss. 500 plus max score, 545 is still decent. So anyway guys, enjoy your hero max, give this build a try, it's still effective, you got a few days for this event.